Gamar Joba from the coastal city of Georgia, Batumi. We are here today to film the architecture of the city because it's quite a big contrast between the buildings here. We have the post-Soviet, we have the modern hotels, we have the skyscrapers that look like looks like we're in Dubai right now. And we also have this unique building, which was built in 2007. And originally it was supposed to be nine floors, but then since the lack of funding, the developers decided to add four more stories to it and they presented sketches to the government, to the local municipality, and they approved immediately. But this addition didn't really fit the original design, the original nine floors. As you can see, there's columns, balconies, looks like it's concrete, but at the top, you have these large balconies and walls that are glass walls. It doesn't really blend together. It made this building look like a post-apocalyptic prison, I would say. Some people say it looks like hospital because it's white. Let's go look inside. So when the construction began in 2007, they began to sell the apartments, which weren't finished. The building was never officially commissioned, therefore this is considered sort of like a squatting, because since the building has no official documents that this is a residence, and that passed all the inspections, such as elevator safety, somehow, four years later, people began to move in without any permission or anything because the buyers, they were really angry that they paid money and after four years, the building was not finished. So they took it up to their hands and they started to move in. And today about 80% of residents somehow have legal permits from this uh, address. I don't know how this exactly works, but the building is considered a, a, an abundant project. As you can see, the first and second floors were originally planned for restaurants, bars, and shopping. But it's all empty. Look at this. There's trash inside this shopping areas. Also, what is interesting that Half of the building doesn't have operational elevators. Imagine living on the 9th or the 14th floor and you don't have the elevator. The residents decided to make a parking lot in the courtyard and not only you can park here temporarily, but you can park here forever. This is the example that nobody is actually uh, patrolling this place. In addition, the building was supposed to be an elite complex that would have a pool, a swimming pool upstairs, a bar, and a gym. Of course, this did not happen because of the developer problems. One, they didn't have enough money. They were changing the construction company. They couldn't follow the, the rules and regulations. In fact, they actually broke two of the major rules of building in Batumi. One is the they built too close to the shoreline, even though this was the first large-scale project by the beach, they managed to break the main law. And, and the second uh, law that they broke, that they built too close to the road. Here you can see the arch. It kind of reminds you of the Italian galleries where you walk into the shopping mall and there's this arch above you. It looks beautiful in a way. And these columns, and here in the courtyard, the plan was to build a fountain and five magnolias. The magnolias, you can see one, two, three, and then two behind. So there's five magnolia trees, and that's where the name comes from, Magnolia Building. The fascinating part is, since this was never officially commissioned, you cannot buy or sell apartments, but 
the residents do have the permission to rent it or maybe they're just violating the laws. These are the statues of the ballerinas. Not sure what exactly they're supposed to represent, but in my research I found no information why they decided to add these bold girls. On the first floor, on the outside of the building, during the summer, they actually do open some stores and restaurants because this is the season. They've even made a hostel, which I believe is illegal. I've checked on booking.com that the night in this building, some of the residents charge $70 per night. It's unbelievable. The reason why this building looks really dark and unmaintained and there's a lot of black spots around it is because the material that they use here is plasterboard. This is concrete I believe and outside this plasterboard. In the construction formalities you cannot use plasterboard in, subtro in subtropical climates because when it rains then you have the mold starting to grow on this mold and moss starting to grow on this type of material also this building doesn't have drains around it when it rains in some areas the the water just starts to collect and the puddles are being created this is another factor that shows you why this building is not commissioned it didn't, it didn't pass any inspections it's missing drainages it's built out of plasterboard so what can you really offer the city. Now we just came to the other side of the building and the side that is built by the road. It's a four lane road. According to the Batumi regulations, you cannot build a building so close to a road because when there's rain, and there's puddles, the water splashes right on the balconies of the residents. Not only that, it's also really loud here, living so close to the street. The building already stands unevenly and sooner or later will reach its critical point. Unfortunately, whenever the, the company who will buy this land out from the government, they will doubtly receive any compensation because this is not legal residence. And I think there will be some sort of a fight between the local municipality and the residents who live here. I don't know if you can call them residents, but the people that currently reside in this building. You can see all the plasterboard chipping away. The black spots, the mold, the moss from the rain, the lack of drains. Well, let's hope the government stands on the side of the residents and at least gives them some money because I think it will be really unfair that some of the people did buy it from the original developer and then, then they were just left out with this shitty building. Good luck to you and let's make the government more serious in terms of regulating their future development projects along this coast.